Into the Radius, Shotgun Only. Let's get started. I started the playthrough just like everyone else by starting a new game. Obviously, I'm playing on normal difficulty. I gathered up a few things here and there just to boost my early economy. I started out with a very nice looking PM, which I then sold for a pack of cigarettes. I also sold all the other stuff I had collected earlier. Next, I did the first mission, equipment retrieval. I set off with an uncharacteristic amount of enthusiasm, and this is how the first mission went. I did a little bit of artifact hunting while I was out because I have an insatiable amount of greed in my body. I ran back to base, sold all of my garbage, and returned the watch. Then when I returned back to my room, I had acquired the shotgun. Now, and only now, can we start having fun. Now it's time for Total Recall, the second mission. It was incredibly uneventful. Now at this point, looting was becoming a difficult and arduous task with the double barrel break action shotgun, so I was looking for an upgrade. But according to this guy on YouTube, there was a stash in Pachors Castle with the Saiega, the level 5 shotgun. It has magazines, it's got very high damage, and I wanted it. So I packed as many shells as I could, some cleaning equipment to clean the gun when I got there, and began the journey. Yay. On the way there i did get in a scrap with the mimic which as it turns out very difficult to reload the gun when you have only a flashlight to light up what you're seeing i also had a very difficult time climbing up a ladder in the complete pitch black dark because i didn't have a headlamp yet now when i was doing this i planned out a route that would specifically take me through Pidoa factory because i knew that i could find the pump action shotgun there and i don't know if you've played with the pump action shotgun but it's probably my favorite gun in this game and since i just acquired one of my favorite guns in the game the break action shotgun had to get discarded due to a lack of monetary value compared to an akm that i found now while i do like the izh81 a lot there was a problem with this one specifically which is that it came with a rail b mount sight on it and i hadn't unlocked any rail b mount sights hadn't brought any with me so because of that i couldn't see the actual sight in the front so i was missing every single shot that i took regardless i was able to get past all those guards that you just saw thanks to good old-fashioned unstuck yay I did make it through call calls without pretty much anything happening. Got back to base, did a little bit of housekeeping, sold some guns that I found, and removed that god-awful Rail B site so I could actually see, and took a quick nap to heal. I completed the journey to the Pachors Castle, and on the way I actually found a stash with 10-round Sayaga magazines in it. Well, here I am, underneath the radius at the Pachors Castle, no body on me, shotgun full of buckshot, no pistol. How am I gonna make it? And then I show up to the castle and there's a gate in the way. I cannot enter. But that doesn't mean I gave up. I actually used Unstuck to glitch my way inside of the castle and then when I finally got to the place where the stash is supposed to be, it wasn't there as it turns out. I am incredibly upset right now. Oh no. So after a lot of jibber jabber that I'm just gonna speed through real quick, I eventually decided to just call it a day and leave. I did leave with the Saiga magazine, so I got like five, ten round magazines with the Saiga, but I don't have that gun itself. I went back and looked at the wiki, apparently it's not there anymore, but it used to be, but it's just not anymore. So on the way back, I ran into a slider, found a regen artifact, and then I was done. At least for the time being. The next mission was fixing a leak in Balotki village, and thanks to my obviously superior techniques, I, it was pretty easy. I don't know what I was doing here, but I figured I'd include it since I recorded it, and my greed was almost satiated actually with all the looting that I did. I have confirmed that this turret is in fact indestructible. You know, honestly, after walking from the base all the way to the Pachors castle, that mission did not 
feel that hard. At the end of that mission, I returned the secret documents and I sold all of my garbage. Just the usual standard routine. A Flash in the Dark was incredibly unexciting and extremely unremarkable. However, I did have a few standard missions to do afterwards. Come on, come get me. Why is there no one here? Oh, oh, I'm actually an idiot. I cleared out this area already and I forgot about it. I'm actually too good at this game. Oh, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Oh, shut up. It's close enough. The next mission available was a probing move, which meant that I had to go to Padoba Factory. Now, that means that Buckshot is unfortunately no longer going to be viable, even though I like it so much because it has low armor piercing. The, the beach, the way I got so many shells. The rest of the mission was very uneventful, so I did try to do a little trick shot here with a propane tank, but when I tried to shoot it, I hit my ceiling fan with my hand in real life, and then it started floating in midair. Despite that, I did manage to finish the mission. The next mission available was the Intrusion, and I had a very difficult time with it in my last playthrough, so I decided to get a few upgrades, such as a laser pointer and an actual sight. As you can probably tell, I'm a big fan of the laser pointer. Now, you all might not know this, but you can actually take a can of food, and as you would, you'd stick it on a knife and then eat it like this. But you might not know that you can actually take it, then take the food off of it and put it in your backpack. When you do that, it's lighter and easier to carry around. But you want to know what's also just as easy. Possibly getting a free copy of this game. That's right, despite my last video for my playthrough of this game only having 32 views right now, CM Games contacted me and they have two game keys for me to give away, one for the Quest Store and one for Steam. Originally I was going to do a little trivia game to about the game and whoever you know answered right would, would get, get one of the keys, but then I realized, hey, if you don't have a copy of this game, you probably don't know a lot of trivia about it, so instead, one game key will be given to whoever can write the most convincing essay on which Kung Fu Panda movie was their favorite. If you haven't seen any of them, go watch them right now. They're amazing. And the other one will be given to whoever can list out 30 of their favorite vegetables in order of their least favorite to their most favorite, and then why each one is where it is. They do have to give me some means of contact, while, whether in the comment itself or on your account, so I can actually contact you and give you the code so that I'm not just putting it in the YouTube comment section. Also, if I don't get a lot of comments, I'm gonna, just going to wait until there's five comments for each of them before I pick a winner. That way it's an actual contest and not just, you know, it's been three months, I've only got three comments, I'll just pick one of them. So we are going to get to the intrusion in just a second, but I want to show you all this really cool trick that I actually just discovered even though it's pretty obvious. So, you have to press the trigger to lock onto something, and then hold down grip to grab it to use the force. Apparently, you can just keep walking after you've selected it, then press trigger, then boom, it goes through walls. I got into the building the same way that I did in my last playthrough, which I'm sure you've seen, but if not, I used Unstuck to get into an open door on the side of the building and skip most of it. Usually whenever I record something for this video, I have something in mind at the time of what I'm going to say, but I genuinely have no idea what I was trying to do here. But regardless of that, I did sell the garbage I had collected, which was a quite a profitable experience, and I returned the white box. I tried to do another trick shot here with a propane tank while doing some non-priority missions, however this one failed as well. The next mission available was a farewell feast, and I got a helmet to help protect me while I was there, and I also downgraded back to Buckshot, just because it's just so much more fun.
After this mission, I do want to mention that I collected all three of the spawn plushies, so that's something. And after three consecutive days of doing nothing but play Resident Evil 4 VR, I finally returned the heart. Now that we had finished a farewell feast, we were finally security level 5. And you know what that means? That means I could finally get the Saiega. This thing is a monster. So the idea that this was a really good gun or that Buckshot was any good quickly faded as soon as I went to call Kazaria. I cut out pretty much all of what I did in this mission because it was literally just me dying constantly. I had to shoot enemies like six, seven times before they would die. I did get the artifact at the end, which was pretty astounding in my opinion that I actually managed to complete the mission. I also managed to climb onto the back of the train and hitch half of a ride back. The next mission and the final mission is Ouroboros, and that's the one that we are going to do next. Obviously, spoiler warnings here because this is final mission obviously but it's time to go back to the pachors castle i immediately died when i got there thankfully from our previous encounter i knew a way to go around a good portion of the area that i'm supposed to fight my way through Deaths that were 100% not my fault aside, most of the rest of this was just combat and I'm just going to speed through it real quickly. After about a hundred den mimics lay dead on the ground in the Pachoros castle, I did manage to make my way all the way to the top of it. Now we'll continue. I... This isn't a shotgun. This isn't a shotgun. I can't use it. Hey, I think this thing is in ammunition. What am I supposed to do? I can't use anything that isn't a shotgun. No. Why? For those of you who are wondering why I haven't uploaded in two weeks, it's because this video took me two weeks to make. So consider liking it and also consider subscribing because according to my YouTube analytics, only 7% of the, my views come from people who are subscribed. Also, tell me if you want to see more videos like this. Also, another big thanks to CM Games for letting me do this giveaway. That's it. Bye.